So we have some pretty interesting tidbits on the stock levels of Apple's current displays that could be suggesting we could see new displays launch as soon as a spring event. And so let's delve into it guys, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours, and with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so YouTuber Lucamiani noticed the Pro Display was shipping between the 3rd to the 10th of March, and the delay in shipping could be due to the fact we are going to see a new version launch very, very soon. Now, yes, I know the first thing you guys are going to mention is, of course, production issues. That's very much a norm within these COVID times, and so Apple could simply be facing shortages with the components for the display, hence why there's a delay in the shipment. And yeah, that could be the case, but that's a pretty boring answer, and do remember the Pro Display is now two years old, and so the chances of Apple still having production issues does seem unlikely in my opinion. And so yes, I'm going to lean towards the more fun answer, which is we could see a Pro Display 2 launch at the spring event. And by the way, guys, there are other key details which do hint this. For example, the time frame we do see the Pro Display ship is between the 3rd and the 10th of March. And while we know through Mark Gurman that we should see the spring event take place on the 8th of March. And so yes, it's interesting that Apple's quoting a shipment date around the time we could see the spring event. But also do remember that MacWise at the event were getting the Mac Mini with the M1 Pro slash M1 Max chip. And of course, this is going to be a Mac without a display, and so for those shopping for the new Mac Mini, Apple could of course offer a new display that goes perfectly with it. And for those wanting a relatively affordable display, there is some other good news. Since the 4K ultrafine display that Apple offers as their entry-level display offering is currently unavailable, you can't buy it in any Apple store or online. And so yes, again, that could be suggesting Apple's pulled the plug on these products because we could see a base Apple display launch alongside the Pro Display at the spring event. And ultimately, yes, I do think this makes a ton of sense since let's be honest guys, everything we've heard about regarding the spring event has been pretty dull. For example, the iPhone SE 3 is going to be an SE 2 with 5G, the Air 5 is going to be an Air 4 with 5G and center stage, and while the Mac Mini could give us a new design, the chips are going to be identical to the 2021 MacBook Pros. And so I do very much think we need a flagship product that headlines this event, and that could be the Pro Display and also maybe the regular Apple display. And by the way, in case you're wondering about the features of these displays, while we could see the A13 chip that could be used for image scaling, HDR, and also other video processing, it could also feature similar mini LED tech to the iPad and the MacBook, and I'm praying that we do also see a lower price. Oh, and also the stand should be included with the actual price. It should really not be a separate add-on. And as for the regular display, this should be based on the 24-inch iMac. It could have mini LED, but it's more likely to have the same LCD tech as the 24-inch iMac. And it could be around $700 to $800. And by the way, in case you're wondering about the mid-tier display we heard about, that could be around 27 inches. I don't think that's going to launch yet. I think the release of that depends on the release of the iMac Pro. And while we know the larger iMac's been pushed back. And so yes, I do see that display launching at a later date. So yeah, that's my theory guys. But tell me in the comments below, do you think Apple's new displays could launch at the spring event? Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.